I'd like to introduce Steve Laletta once again to come up and say a few words. Thanks, Brad. Morning, everybody. Uh, nothing like starting a 8.30 Tuesday morning uh, with a history lesson. So that's what we're going to do today. And the history lesson is going to be about 1990. So in 1990, the first web page on the World Wide Web was published. I think it was by Al Gore. The most popular TV show was Cheers, kind of uh, the theme of the NASCAR garage. Everybody knows your name. The number one song on the Billboard charts was by Michael Bolton, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? The cost of a 30-second Super Bowl ad was $700,000. This weekend's game, $4 million for the cost of an ad. Parachute pants were in style. Thanks to MC Hammer. I know I've seen a picture of Bob Pockrass with his on somewhere. <laughs> and Jamie McMurray was a 12-year-old kid racing go-karts in Joplin, Missouri. My favorite, Kyle Larson, not even born yet. <laughs> but in 1990, Chip Ganassi started Chip Ganassi Racing. So today and throughout 2014, we're celebrating our 25th year as an organization and as importantly, our partnership with Target. Let's start as a one-car IndyCar team in Indianapolis has grown to an organization of over 300 employees run out of three different race shops in three different cities. We have seven cars and eight drivers across three series. Those drivers represent five different countries, and they're the latest in a history of great drivers that have contributed to 17 championships and over 150 race wins. We're the only team in history that's won the four marquee races of the Rolex 24 at Daytona, the Daytona 500, the Indianapolis 500, and the Brickyard 400. So throughout the 2014 season, you'll see different celebrations that we'll announce and talk about centered around events that include Daytona, the Cobalt 400 in Las Vegas, the Coke 600, and the Indianapolis 500, to name a few. We're really excited about it. We'll be soon relaunching our website uh, in conjunction with one of our newer partners, NTT Data. And we've got a really cool timeline, an interactive timeline of our organization that you'll see in the other room you can play around with. It captures all the history and imagery of our team that we worked on and produced with another one of our partners, Sapient Nitro. As we get on to uh, what we're doing with our current partners, we're excited that McDonald's is discussing with us coming back to do a national TV commercial that'll feature Jamie McMurray and the One Team. And just last week, Kyle got to do uh, the video taping of a commercial for Unilever Axe, our partner, that'll be a national spot that'll debut around the Daytona 500 that we're really excited about. In typical fashion, we'll bring some new partners to the racetrack with our team this year in Colgate and Del Monte. And we continue to grow our list of partners that have been with us now for a couple of years in NTT Data, Banana Boat, and PNC. So it's going to be a big year for us on and off the track. And we're really excited to kick it off today as the first step as we look forward to our next 25 years. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, and uh, we'd like to now welcome to the podium, or he wants to say a few words, uh, co-owner of Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis, Mr. Felix Sabatis. Well, I see they put lights so we don't talk too long because you can't see anywhere down there. I see Tom, it's about all I can see. Now he wants to thank you for being here. 8.30 in the morning is early as hell. I cannot believe. But, you know, if we'd have had 10 wins, we'd have probably been at four, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. No, you guys have been terrific. You mentioned 25 years of Chip and Target. He just reminded me of the same time, me in 1990, chasing Kyle Petty around to make sure he showed up at the racetrack on time. So, <laughs> and we won the, in Rockingham. But, no, this is, the, last year was uh, not up to what we expected, but we did win a race. We, did, we, we, we didn't kill each other, so we're still here. But I think the best part about this year, for me personally, my name is bigger again in the logo. 
as you get older, you can't read anymore. And I was, cut, you know, every time I saw the logo, I was looking to see if it was still there. And I, I was, but uh, I couldn't see it. So now I've got a bigger logo. So anyway, there's nothing I can add other than thank you for being here. And I hope for next year we'll be in the 4 o'clock time slot. So you guys can, instead of coffee, you can drink some vodka or beer or whatever guys you drink. And, uh, and by the way, this is not a commercial announcement, but all you guys that go to the Daytona, there used to be a, uh, a bar called Caffeine, which was cool. You need to go there because they redid re the whole thing. It's got a new name. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's a new place for, to hang around. So and you'll find me there every night when they turn us. So come by. Uh, there's a lady back there. I won't mention her name, but, but she worked for somebody in some AP paper or something. She knows the place well, so join us all there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Felix. And uh, to our drivers, we'll start with you, Jamie McMurray. Um, you know, watching that video, it's amazing the memories that you've had with this team and in victory lane with this team. And, of course, last year you did get a big win uh, at Talladega Super Speedway. So talk about now heading into 2014. You've got some new members, new crew chief. Yeah, it's uh, quite a few changes to, uh, to the one car this year. Um, a, lot of, a lot of new uh, crew guys, new engineer, new car chief, um, new crew chief. Um, Keith is, is sitting over uh, in the corner. and. The, uh, the transition of, of Keith coming in has, has went better than what I expected. It's been easier. Um, he's, he's really fit into our shop. Uh, you know, one of the, I think the, the best parts of Keith coming in is that um, he already somewhat understood the simulation program we had. Uh, so there was, there's just all good stuff um, on that side. And when, uh, when I look back at, at last year, uh, you know, one thing that we, we haven't really talked about is, is our, our organization, it, last year was challenging um, for different reasons. One, one is because one of the drivers knew that he was leaving in, in August or so of the year. And then, um, you know, Bono, we obviously made a change with the crew chief. And so we're going through this transition of one driver leaving and a crew chief leaving. And this sport's hard enough when, when everything is going right. But when you add some of that in, it makes it even more challenging. So when I look back at, at uh, you know, being able to win a race, win a pole, um, I, I think it was, was a good season for, for the one car with the, uh, the adversity that, uh, that we face. So look forward to this year. Um, when I look at, at our, our whole organization, we have been through a lot of changes um, with, with some management and drivers. Um, and I feel like we're in the best place um, that this organization's been in since, since I've been a part of the team. Um, since you know John Probst came in a few years ago, Max came in, um, those guys have implemented a lot of changes and I feel like this year in the off season, uh, walking through the shop and, and talking to all the different departments, um, everybody feels like we're in a better place. And, and a lot of it has to do with, with those guys putting, uh, putting everything in place so that it's organized and structured. And um, I feel like our whole organization is, you know, believes that, uh, that we're going to have a good year. And, and that's hard to get um, you know, the drivers, the crew chiefs, and everyone behind the scenes to believe that, and, and I really feel that way this year. So I'm excited about, uh, about getting underway. Thank you, Jamie. And Kyle Larson, this time last year uh, and throughout most of the season, you were asked, hey, you know, what would it be like to get into the Sprint Cup Series? And we saw a lot of highlights with you, whether it was an amazing Bristol finish between you and Kyle Busch to a win in the Camping World Truck Series to even running cup races at tracks like Charlotte and Texas. Uh, now this year, heading into your rookie season, um, one of eight rookies in the series. You definitely uh, are going to be watched quite a bit this year. And not only do you have a target on your chest, but you got a target on your car as well. Yeah, that uh, you know, this year's going to be really special for me, being my rookie season in the Cup Series, and uh, you know, being part of the 25th you know year with Chip Ganassi Racing and, and Target. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to get you know this whole season going. It's I haven't had an off season really in the last four or five years, so. I'll, been really anxious to get going and um, yeah excited to work with Chris um, and, and everybody at, on the team and Jamie um, yeah, I listened to him talk a lot about how um, you know how the organi organization is probably in the or he feels in the best spot it's been since he he's been there so that makes me even more excited just because um, he's got a lot of experience here and in the cup series so um, yeah I'm hoping for really good things this year and uh, you yeah, maybe maybe get a win or, or you know, just be really consistent this year. 